Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be learning about callousing and why succulents and cactuses need callousing for it to propagate really well. So as you can see cactus is a succulent and the stalks generally store water in them especially it is used as a reservoir during drought periods and especially because it is found in the desert regions so it has a tendency of storing water so what happens when you take out the stalk from the mother plant the portion where the stalk was connected to the mother plant oozes out a sap so that is nothing but the water that is stored in this uh, fleshy part of the cactus so if you directly put this cactus into a wet soil, what will happen is there, is, there are chances of infection, uh, there are higher chances of infection at this portion and the entire cutting will rot. So to improve the chances of this cutting to survive and to propagate a new cactus, it is always good to help callus these cuttings. This is also true for other succulents which are not cactuses. So you see this and you see this right it's almost closed. So this is like it's finally attained its callusing it's dry I can put it on the soil on the surface of a soil and it will soon grow a mini opuntia. But this one, you see, it is still to close down, but you can see that there is no water left. The water is completely dry, but it still has to close this portion for me to propagate it. So you, you need to understand that this is very important, but as an exception, you can immediately propagate the Opentia microdasis in uh, by putting it in the soil without callousing because I have been able to successfully grow it but again it depends on how much of a sun exposure you give to the plant if you keep it in a shady area then there are high chances of the infection uh, uh, infection killing this particular stock but if you expose it to more sunlight, there are less chances of infection happening. And also it depends on what kind of soil you use. If you use a sandy soil, then the chances of infection are reduced because it is well draining. If you use clay soil, the chances of infection is higher because clay absorbs a lot of water and that in turn will lead to rotting of these stem cuttings so thank you for watching and if you have any doubts on callousing please do comment below